Hey everyone, it's Joanna from Nesting Story. There's been something I've actually, a video I've been wanting to make for a while. Um, when I said something on my Insta stories, was it last week, couple weeks ago, anyways. It really resonated with a lot of you who follow along. Um, I was talking about how I could feel myself burning out and it hit me that I've been judging myself based on how much extra stuff I've been doing for my kids and my family. So let's kind of back this up. I'm not sure if you saw my winter morning routine. A lot of you did. And that week, I was killing myself. I was killing myself making the kids fresh juices in the morning. Bo had been having these stomach aches. And so I've been, I had been trying to do those for her, get more healthy vegetables into the kids. So that was something extra I was doing. I've been trying, I've been taking on a lot of like, extra things with the kids and trying to make it to like ex every class and doing tons of hosting and um some of that is good but i was getting myself overloaded and i was killing myself over trying to do all these extra things for everybody and not realizing that it wasn't necessary to go so far that way so right now currently in our lives we have some extra commitments that are temporary holden is in six weeks of hockey um it's just there's a lot on our plates and i was trying to make all these like from scratch meals and everything and it was just exhausting me so i sat down i was like and i'm still kind of trying i'm in this process right now i've seen what i can take off my plate right now and i was like do we really need from scratch meals every day? I've been simplifying like lots of meals and snacks. So ready cut vegetables from the grocery store and ready made snacks. I've also been letting myself off the hook if I am not going to everything. I've also spoken up to Mike a bit. He started to take on a bit more in terms of this stress. I gotta talk to you more about this. Stay tuned. This is going to be more of an ongoing conversation between you and I, but the whole point is to stop judging myself based on these extra things. Okay, so it's the next day. I got Mr. Oliver here in my office, and um, it's it's good I kind of split this video into two because I've had some time to think. In fact, I had a conversation with some moms yesterday about how we were all feeling like we were spending so much time like barking at our kids and weren't properly listening. It's totally, it's chewing out a box. I was putting all my energy into these extra things. And the thing is, because I was doing all of these extra things, I was thinking, oh, I'm such a good mom. And essentially I was burning myself out. Then I was barking at my kids. And um, because I was barking at my kids, like, you know, are you sure that's clean underwear? I've already asked you three times, put your shoes on. Like I was just so angry all the time for, for a couple weeks there that um, they were now fighting. And I was like creating this ripple effect in our home and it was totally toxic. So here I was judging myself based on these extra things, thinking that was gonna make me a better mom when I was in the end burning myself out, getting angry at our whole family and creating a toxic environment, which is essentially, I was not winning. So what I started to do was look what was on my plate right now and take a few shortcuts, which I've already felt my stress reducing. And this morning I actually felt way happier than I've been. And also this morning I thought, you know, I've got to change this atmosphere in our home. So I started calling everyone by a nickname this morning. I asked everyone what their nickname would be. Um, Everly's was Everett, like Owlette and Everly. Um, Mia said she's Mickey Mouse. Bo was Princess Twinkle Sparkle or something like that. I think it's My Little Pony. And then Holden's was something from Halo, like Spartan 225 or something. And just calling everyone a nickname this morning had everyone giggling and everyone listening. Like it was just this lighter atmosphere. And, and that's the stuff I should be putting my energy into. Not these extra meals when I don't have the time or waking up crazy early to always have these juices. Like once in a while is great, but daily, it's a lot. So the whole point of this conversation with you is to is because I think so many of us judge ourselves on all these extra things or things that we think all the other moms are doing. And in turn, maybe it's not what your family needs. What your family needs is you. What your family needs is you happy. And we need to drop the guilt. We need to drop 
our self-judgment and the guilt and just really triage life and what you can handle on your plate and what you can do to make life a little bit easier and everything a little bit lighter. Anyways, I just really wanted to share that thought this week. Um, I've been actually for a couple weeks wanting to share that with you and I hope it makes sense. Let me know if this resonates with you at all um, because it does, like it's just kind of this aha moment for me. Thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe and just a reminder that Monday's vlog will actually be on Wednesday. I have a special video for you coming up. Um, I partnered with a brand, but I'm really excited because what I'm doing is sharing my story about how we got in debt when I was pregnant with the twins and finances and how things we've learned along the way to help get ourselves out of debt. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.